<laughs> Hello, so Comatose Ibex bringing you a Halo Reach gameplay this time. Uh, I decided to do a Halo Reach gameplay because I've had the game obviously a lot longer than I've had Modern Warfare 3. All my gameplays so far have been Modern Warfare 3. All my commentaries so far have been Modern Warfare 3. And I'm thinking this time it's about time I did something different. You get some of the commentators, they'll stick on one game or one game series for their entire career. Sleep. And it's worth, um, it's obviously worth doing something different. I know there's some people out there that believe, uh, basically, that well, Call of Duty is the premier shooter and nothing else comes close. Everything else just really isn't uh, good. But I believe that each, quality, each uh, shooter has its qualities. For example, Call of Duty, as good as it is, really misses the vehicles of Battlefield and Halo. And that's one of the things I want to talk about uh, in this little segment about Halo 4. Uh, now the gameplay I'm providing for you is uh, Halo Reach Free For All on Pinnacle. It's not actually called Free For All on Halo Reach, but it's still technically a Free For All. Anywho, what I wanted to talk about today is Halo 4. Some of the things I've heard about Halo 4 and some of the things I would like to see in Halo 4. Uh, to be perfect, I as as much as I like uh, Call of Duty, uh, and I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of Black Ops as I've said in the previous video, and th and for that reason I'm actually looking forward to Halo 4 more than I am Black Ops 2. I will probably end up getting both games, and I will probably end up doing uploads for both games. But the point remains, I think Halo 4, from what I've heard, should be well from if from previous experience of Call of Duty and Halo is uh, anything to go by, Halo 4 should be better. And, and there's a lot of people that, well, obviously people, people fans of Call of Duty that are going to say, no, it's only Halo, no, Halo's really not like, not really good. Or they get people on other operating systems that won't get to play Halo because it's only on the Xbox. Uh, anywho, just going through some of the content I'd like to see on modern, well, on Halo 4. First of all, uh, if they were put, uh, I've noticed that uh, some of the things they're trying to pull, it sounds like they're pulling from Call of Duty, things like instant respawns, uh, joining in progress, things that are already in Call of Duty. Um, one thing, if they're going to do that, they really need to pull in an armor ability that's uh, akin to sleight of hand, basically the faster reload of your gun. Because the number of times I've been caught out by uh, just when I've been reloading the gun, reloading the DMR, or the, or the pistol or what, well pistol's not too bad, quite quick a reload, but the DMR can be quite slow. Uh, I think, well, the rocket launch is probably the slowest of all, but that's for a reason, because that's a power weapon. But I would like to see faster reloads on some of the guns uh, as an armor ability. Uh, one, thing that I've, one thing I'd definitely like to see, what I'd, I'd love to see, and it's one thing that, for me, the one thing that sets Halo apart from Call of Duty in terms of the actual combat is the vehicles. I'd like to see more vehicles on matchmaking. I'd like to see more vehicle use, more tendency towards vehicle use. Uh, and maybe as an addition to that, some new vehicles, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe bring back the Spectre from Halo 2, uh, change, we'll change the, uh, bring back the Hornet from Halo 3, and just as a, and maybe bring back the Missile Pod as a counter for that, and uh, have, an, have the, have the anti-tank mines, uh, because in Halo Reach, in Forge Map, in some of the Forge Maps, the custom maps, you do have anti-tank mines lying around, people have put, obviously placed them down in their custom games. And uh, I would like to see that as a deployable, as a weapon you can carry and obviously throw around. So say for example, it's instead of saying hold X to pick up shotgun, hold X to pick up rocket launcher, hold X to, it would say hold X to pick up AT mines. And then obviously you could put the mines down, but they would obviously have they would have to be effective against hovering vehicles, so they could take out so the covenant vehicles. So you don't end up with a huge advantage uh, if you're driving a wraith against if you're driving a scorpion. But uh, that would, but I think the missile, the, yeah, the return, of, the return of a missile pod, and uh, an addition of those mines would definitely counter more vehicle use. I think maybe some more variety in the vehicles, but, uh, like for example, so, look, some vehicles with more people in them, or even a human vehicle that you only need one person to use. It's not really slow. I think that would definitely be good. Uh, some of the things I've definitely heard were about it are uh, the, the weapon spawns are going to change. So basically, in game, so basically, you don't get a uh, you don't get a single weapon spawning the same place all the time. You don't uh, so you don't get players who uh, expose or well, exploit it and uh, 
take, they'll take advantage of it and then be able to just to ward Ronda along. They know exactly when a weapon is going to respawn, they know exactly where it's going to respawn and then they're going to be there at that moment, at that time to pick up the weapon before anybody else and just what's going and what's going to happen is well, what happened was people would just they would just dominate the game uh, because they they would know exactly where these weapons are. They'd go and get the sword. They'd go and get the rocket launcher. They'd go and get the shotgun. They'd go and get the fuel rocket cannon if it's on if it's on that particular map. Because so well, to be fair, the fuel rocket cannon was extremely rare. Uh, people mentioned the concussion rifle, but for me, the concussion rifle wasn't that good. It was I think it was just a poor weapon. It was a poor man's fuel rod. It didn't have the uh, it didn't have the kill power for fuel rod that the uh, Fuel rod because that had the, the one you could one shot some with a fuel rod. Uh, another weapon I'd love to see the return of. This is a weapon rather than a vehicle. A weapon I'd love to see the return of. And I think two weapons, well, two weapons actually, not one, two. The battle rifle from Halo 3 and the beam rifle from Halo 3. I don't know if anyone uh, remembers the beam and versus sniper thing on Halo 3, but uh, for me, the beam rifle, well, not a Far superior rifle. It looked cooler. It it felt cooler, and for me, to be perfectly honest, I think it was better. Uh, not least because you well, you did have the thing where you could just spam two or three shots in very quick succession and knock someone out without going for the head. But to be perfectly honest, that's maybe not the best thing. Anyway, going on to other things, um, the grenades. I've definitely heard the grenades are going to be pretty much the same as in Halo Reach. I've heard so far there's the pl the frag and the plasma. One thing I'd like to see is the end of, uh, basically the end of uh, grenades you could pick up. Uh, well, frag grenades, particularly frag grenades. Plasmas maybe not so bad because the problem with frag grenades, they're far, they're far too easily spammed, and that was a pro massive, massive problem in Halo 3 because you get maps with gravity lift, and no one would ever go up with gravity lift without throwing about, like getting them and about three teammates throw about six or seven frag grenades up that gravity lift to clear up we'll clear whoever's up the top and whoever's uh, sat at the top they'll run past, they'll see the nades come out and go oh boy and they get blown to absolute bits and it drove them absolutely insane and I remember one game years ago, I don't know, about 2008, 2009 something like that where there's this, there's this one kid just kept on shouting NADE SPAMMERS! NADE SPAMMERS! NADE SPAMMERS! and it's and, and I totally understood. Just that's what would happen. The map in question was Construct, and it, that's all that would happen on Construct. Five it was remaining. annoying. You'd have campers at the top and nade spammers at the bottom. Take your pick as to which side you're on. Uh, first, well, first other things that I've heard about Halo 4: firefight. Well, I didn't really play firefight that much. I think that was more for uh, that was more for the amateurs. Uh, I think firefight was either too it was too easy normally, or it was too uh, it it was just had a limited uh, rather than, oh, sorry it just had a had a, well had a limited appeal to me. Uh, but one thing as uh, one thing in terms of the multiplayer, that I would love to see back. It has to come back, otherwise Halo. This has to come back, otherwise Halo as a franchise is dead. Forging. Forge well, Forge World. Forge World was quite large. I think uh, it didn't take long for people to uh, see the limits of Forge World. It was it was large but not huge. And then uh, you did have people they uh, posted glitches. I I for one found a few ways to uh, glitch out of Forge World. And uh, obviously there was that what's also the glitch involved in the grid where basically you had one guy stood on the end of the grid and the other guy would flip it through 90 degrees to send someone soaring into the sky past the. Uh, past the invisible wall, way past the invisible wall, and then people would obviously take pictures from there. Or even uh, go into theatre and explore from there. People have posted YouTube videos about that, and I don't know whether it might be worth me uh, posting a YouTube video about me doing that. Um, in terms of, well, I think that's pretty much everything I'd like to say about Halo 4 so far, and I believe that... Uh, uh, I believe that uh, one thing, actually one final thing. Everybody whoop, holler, celebrate. Armor lock is gone. No more camping with armor lock. No more people sponging swords on with armor lock. It's uh, apparently it's gone. It's not there. If they if one well not one budget. If 343 bring armor lock back, <sighs> I really really am not happy. Anyway, this is a comatose Ivic signing out for another video. If you like my videos, if you like my gameplays, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that's it. Uh, this is me for another vid. Thank you and goodbye.